As all three Democratic candidates crisscrossed Pennsylvania the day before the state's big primary, the campaign message could be described in one word, jobs. Tim Malloy followed the campaign trail. He has this report. Big Steel, the lifeblood of many in the state of Pennsylvania, is in big trouble. And that is why, on the eve of the Pennsylvania primary, each of the three major candidates made at least one stop at a factory. Few industries have come out of the past decade of industrial decline unscathed. Walter Mondale has the support of labor, which, though broad in number, 1.6 million strong, is shaken by layoffs and looking for answers. Mondale has hammered away at Mr. Hart's refusal to support the Chrysler bailout. And he's gone out of his way to recall his support for saving the huge Wheeling Pittsburgh plant, which ultimately went under. And the leadership. Mr. Hart has said repeatedly that bailouts are short-sighted. He's calling for fundamental reforms in this country's industrial strategy, stressing worker incentive. I said months and months ago that this country had to have an industry-wide policy to put the steel industry back on its feet. I outlined weeks and months before even running for the presidency an approach that the next president of the United States can take bring management, labor, and private capital together to put the entire American steel industry on its feet. Win, Jesse, win! Win, Jesse, win! Joblessness has been the linchpin in the Jackson campaign, his cry that hands which once picked cotton will soon pick presidents. This is not a new generation. It's a new direction. There must be a commitment to end the welfare and the workfare and put America back to work. Put America back to work, that's our challenge. But Jackson's strength will come from the cities, especially Philadelphia, which is 40% black. Demographically, Pennsylvania covers the spectrum. It is ethnically diverse, has a sizable minority population, strong unions, a substantial elderly voting bloc. But more than anything else, it is industrial and troubled by industry's failings. They say they're going to, you know, help the industry. They want to put people back to work and that. But... I don't see it happening. I think we can't compete with the people overseas. You lied to her like you lied to everyone else, including me. The wages are way lower than ours, and we'll never be competitive with them. Give us a cyclops. They close that place down over here. Let's get port. Explain. Get the us out. We can't compete. In a state where one in ten Pennsylvanians is looking for work, all three candidates have, in one way or another, described tomorrow's primary as a referendum on Reaganomics. But the real issue here is joblessness, no matter who is running the country. And it's the bailout versus industrial strategy. The pollsters saying the proponents of the two philosophies are now running neck and neck. For the Independent News, Tim Malloy, Alec Quippa, Pennsylvania.